Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to be talking about this Stadler Mars Lumograph EE grade pencil. You heard it right. I wasn't stuttering. EE. Right after this short intro. Here I have in my hand a Stadler Mars Lumograph EE pencil. And what it is, it's a composite pencil. In other words, it's made of graphite with a mix of carbon to give it a jet black anti-glare effect on paper. Which is really great if you want to draw really dark darks without having the glare that usually comes from using very dark graphite pencils. Now the interesting thing about the EE is it's not commonly sold everywhere. As a matter of fact, uh, there are very few places that you can actually buy an EE. Uh, I have noticed that um, they're available from Thailand and I also noticed that some in, there's some selling from India so apparently those are two locales that I was able to determine uh, make this pencil available now through my research on the Stadler Mars Lumograph pencils it has been said that the EE is more of an old standard like they had the EXB and they had the um, uh, e B E E these you know and it's supposed to be like H B and then you've got these letters. Well, that the eight B is basically the replacement for the E E. We're gonna test that in this video to see if the eight B and the E E are the same. As a matter of fact, I'm going to compare this not only to the Stadler eight B, but I'm also going to compare it to uh, the um, charcoal pencils that are, you know, some of them anyway that are available today, as well as the 9XXB. But it is important to note that there is a difference between uh, this pencil and, and, a, and a charcoal pencil. So let me kind of run down real quick what I'm talking about here. Now we're all familiar, of course, with the regular graphite pencil which is graphite with some amount of clay which determines the hardness of the pencil the more clay that is in the mixture of the graphite the lighter and harder the pencil will be and that's usually rated with the H so it'd be like you have an H, 2H, 3H, 4H, 5H, 6H that's more and more clay to graphite ratio and the number of the H goes all the way up to you know 9 or 10 H um, this is about the highest I've actually seen which almost becomes somewhat in you know indiscernible when you're writing with a 10 H it's like why even bother but anyway the less clay and the more graphite the softer and darker the pencil is and therefore uh, it gets into the B range and you have the B, 2B, 3B, 4B and I've seen it go all the way up to 12B with some sets <clears throat> especially like woodless pencils then you have charcoal pencils such as this one here is an extra hard charcoal pencil from Generals and you know this is made from charcoal which is you know like tree bark or whatever that's been burnt and then you have what's called um, this graphite carbon hybrid. Um, I haven't seen the term hybrid used, but it's the term I use, and it's the term I'm going to use through this video. Who knows? Maybe it will become catchy. But right now, it's the only way I know to describe this, in that you have graphite, just like any other graphite pencil, but then they add a little carbon in it to give it that jet black appearance. And when I mean carbon, for example, let me show you a carbon pencil 
from Generals called the Carbon Sketch. And this is a carbon pencil as opposed to a charcoal pencil. So it, it does lay down differently and we're going to look at that in this video. So I've included this also in our test today. So when I'm talking about this EE pencil here and I call it a hybrid, it's because it has graphite with a little bit of carbon mixed in it. And you get this hybrid type uh, composite here. Here is the 8B pencil. And I'm going to have to tell you a little bit about this 8B pencil because things start to get a little confusing with Stadler Mars Lumograph. Here is a complete set from 9H, as you see it says right there, 9H, and then it gets all the way over here to 9B. Now, I'm going to pull out the 8B pencil here. In fact, let me give it a little bit of a sharpen. Okay, there we go. And get some paper. Now notice that I have two 8Bs, same company, and if you turn them over, look at the numbers. They're identical. There's no difference between these numbers. They're identical. Yet these two pencils, you can see real quick, are not the same. Nothing could be more confusing than that. And if you come up here, for example, and let me just zoom in here. This is the 8B I just took out of the set. And it is simply graphite with you know whatever amount of clay is necessary to make it an 8B shade but that is a graphite pencil there is no carbon in there to make it jet black and here is the other 8B same part number everything and I think you can immediately see that they are not the same pencil that is a really dark pencil and this one here with the graphite you know has a lot of shine to it see the shine coming off so what's up with these 8B pencils why are they different well it used to be that when you would get a set of Mars Lumograph pencils they would all be graphite with the exception I believe it's 7B 8B on up would be um, this hybrid kind where you would have graphite with a little bit of carbon in it but they've changed it now so that when you buy the Mars Lumograph set of drawing pencils they are all graphite just like any other drawing pencil set there are no hybrids in there so what they've decided to do was to make that a separate offering and it comes into this package now which is called the Mars Lumograph Black and you can see they have 2B two of them and then there's 4B two of them and then 6B and when you take a look at those these are the hybrid it is the graphite with carbon in it and so if I lay that down, you can see that it looks just like this blue one here. It's the same pencil. Does this EE pencil compare to the 8B? And is the 8B technically a replacement for the EE for the rest of the world other than Thailand and possibly India? Well, let's lay down the EE and then we'll test the rest. So I'm going to put the EE down here in the middle. I'm going to make sure that I 
fill that in really well. as well as I'm going to be able to here. Alright, so that's our EE. And I'm going to go ahead and mark this EE. Now let's see how it compares to the rest. And I'm just zoom in here a little bit so you get a closer look. So let's go ahead and use the Hybrid 8B, which is rumored to replace this EE. See, how do they compare? Does the 8B compare to the EE? I don't think so. I think the EE has a slight advantage in darkness. Give it a little blur there. Put down some more EE to fill in. And then I'm going to put down some more 8B to fill in. And again, the 8B does not look like it's an equal to the EE. The EE definitely looks like a darker pencil than the 8B. Now, I don't have a darker uh, Stadler Mars Lumograph uh, hybrid other than the 8B. That's the darkest I have even with the new set of what they call the black. It goes up to 8B. So what I've decided to do is to grab the 9XXB as you see here which is a General Pencil Company Kimberly 9XXB which should be darker than an 8B with a, having a 9 extra extra B so we're going to put that on the other side here of the EE and see how it comes out and how it compares Okay, and now you can see all three of them right there. This is the 9XXB, and this was the 8B. The EE pencil is darker than the 9. The 9 is darker than the 8, and they're all just a shade darker, so this EE, in my opinion, is not replaced by an 8B or a 9XXB. It stands on its own as probably the darkest hybrid pencil that I have personally ever seen because I have nothing else here in all the thousands of pencils I have that is of a higher grade hybrid. If I want to go darker, I'm going to have to go charcoal, but not necessarily all charcoal. For example, I'm going to move this out a little bit. Here is General's charcoal, but it's an extra hard 2H. So I don't expect it to really uh, compete with the hybrid. So let's just take a look and see. And sure enough, it looks more like an HB pencil than it does a charcoal pencil. So no point in continuing with that. It's, it's definitely not a dark pencil and it's not meant to be a dark pencil. It is meant to be a light 
charcoal pencil. So I'm going to move that out of the way here. And we're going to move on to a hard charcoal pencil. That would be the next one up the ladder. And that would be this one, for example. Here's one that's a uh, simply charcoal hard. It's a Dollar Rodney. So I'm going to put that down and then we'll test it and see how it competes. Very scratchy, unfortunately, but there we go. Now this hard charcoal, while it is dark, does not look like, to me, that it competes. But take a look and see for yourself. Maybe it is. It's hard to tell. But it gets a lot easier. I'm going to put this as hard. This is uh, extra hard. So I would say that if anything that that is really competing pretty good. This has a richer black to me but it may not be as dark as this but let's move on to a medium now. Here is a medium charcoal pencil. This one is from Castle Arts and I believe this one is really going to uh, blow everything away and it does as you can see even has a different feel and sound to it. That's the medium. And that is certainly darker than everything I've done so far. So now we're, we're moving into a whole new realm here of darkness. And let's see, we're going to get into uh, the soft pencils. And here is a 3B Primo Euro blend. This is a Euro blend. And I'll put it up here. And that is a very, very dark pencil. Euro. All right. So that is definitely dark. And now we're going to move on to the Pierre Noir 3B, Conte à Paris, which is a very soft. Okay, I managed to get my Conte sharpened here after sharpening it down so far. Um, finally ended up the deli here, sweet memories, and just a very slow hand and not going all the way, I was able to do it. It's very hard to sharpen these uh, charcoal pencils without snapping them. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down this Conte uh, Potty 3B pencil right here. It's a very smooth pencil, and as you can see, it just lays down a rich black tone. There, it's one of my favorites, the Conte. Here we go. C-O-N-T-E. I'll just go like that. So there, so far that's the darkest one I see right here is this Conte. Now, there's another one that I have which is really, really a superior dark pencil and that would be the Grande. The Primo Grande as opposed to the Euro Blend. So I'm going to put that right up here. And of course it has that charcoal sound to it. Grande. Grande. Alright, so. Take a look at that. The Conte is definitely a darker, smoother pencil, but that Grande is right on its tail. And they, of course, are all darker than the EE. And, of course, the medium charcoal, we really exceeded the E. It, it looks like the hard charcoal compared to the EE in the camera here that um, it's almost a toss-up between the two. You might see a little different. But if you'll notice, there is a little shine 
to these hybrid pencils, but very little. The charcoals do not have that shine at all, and that's their advantage. Okay, and the test cannot be complete unless I also apply this uh, Carbon Sketch 595. This is pure carbon here, pitch black carbon, and I'm going to put it, oh, right here, right next to the Grande. All right, fills in the paper a lot better too. And there is the carbon. Now the carbon is clearly the most pitch black you're going to get. Fills the paper fibers in much better than the charcoal does or the graphite, which is going to give you even more of a solid black when you're drawing compared to any of these other ones, which you'll need to do a little blending and then putting more layers on. That carbon goes on pretty solid. So as you can see, the EE, as far as a hybrid pencil, stands on its own. I would say it's the darkest hybrid pencil on the market today, and that's not a wide open market. You're going to have to really hunt for it, uh, either get it through uh, from India or Thailand. That's the only two places I've been able to find online. A box of 12 runs about 20 bucks US. Um, if you can get it for cheaper, I'd go for it. Even 20 bucks isn't that bad for 12 of them. But as you can see here, the 9XXB is close, the 8 is close, but 8, 9, the EE being the darkest of the hybrid. And then as far as getting into now the charcoals, well, interesting. The, all the hybrids here, the 8, the E, and the 9, blow the extra hard uh, charcoal out of the water. So it looks like an HB pencil, so forget it. The medium, which is, or should I say the hard, which is right here. Um, I think it gets close. It's hard to really see. There's no shine on the charcoal, but there will be a, a, a little bit on a hybrid because of the graphite component. So, you know, it's pretty much a toss-up. But once you get into the medium charcoal on up, they're all going to be darker than any of the hybrids uh, that we have here. And then if you really want to see the king of kings, of course, then you're getting into, uh, for example, the Euro, Conte, Grande, and the Carbon. And if you want my opinion as to the order that they go in, I would have to say that you got the Euro, then you have the Grande, then the Conte, and then the Carbon is Master of Darkness. And I, I know nothing that is darker than that pencil-wise. So there you go, folks. There's a rundown of the Stadler Mars Lumograph EE pencil. Let me know what you think about this review and discussion in the comments below. If you like the review, please give me a thumbs up. That always helps support the channel. Subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching.